but I just, I'm going to give you a real challenge now. I, you, in one sentence, I want you to share a lesson that you've learned from your advocacy, from your work that you want to share with the group as we close out. One sentence. Um, I'll say what my grandfather always told me, and that's uh, nunca, nunca, nunca para de luchar, which was never, never, never give up. Sometimes the tough is going to be, the fight is going to be very tough. Sometimes you're not going to get that victory right away. But as you can see, maybe three years ago, the ERA was impossible, but today it is. And there's always a tomorrow, and there's a tomorrow that we can work together to achieve those goals. Never give up. Fabulous. Um, every, every major step that the domestic workers movement has tried to take forward, people have told us it would be impossible. And I've come to believe that what we as women do is we transform the realm of what's possible again and again and again through our organizing. And that is what we're going to do through women employed in the state of Illinois and all over the country. I think that one of my, my greatest lessons over the years in advocacy is that um, progress is made possible when many people are working together to make that progress possible. Movements aren't made up of one person. Movements are made up of many people. And I think that as we think about the kinds of changes we want for this state and for our, our country, we have to think about how we bring along as many people as possible because that's when we can actually see the change through that we need. Thank you. Thank you. Incredible work you're all doing. Thanks for all that you do, and thanks for this great conversation.